Steph, when you look at a team like LAFC that can hit you from so many different places with so many great players, how, how do you work to defend that and plan to defend that? Um, you know, just make, make sure that uh, their key players don't have a good game. Um, there's, there's multiple ways of getting to that, but obviously we want to limit touches for certain players. Um, you know, you want to get under their skin, make them uncomfortable a little bit here and there. There's multiple ways, but I think uh, it, it's also about being on uh, being on the forefront, on the forefoot, and uh, and maybe making other players uncomfortable on their team when they have possession, um, and make it very difficult for them to find those key players. Um, and then when we when we do maybe get something out of that, uh, can we can we take advantage of that? You know, it's it's uh, I think uh, obviously there's a lot of goals scored in that last uh, LA Galaxy LAFC game. Uh, you have to be very opportunistic. Uh, I think we have good players um, and confident players at top right now, so, so that bodes well for us when we hopefully get a chance that they take care of it. One of those key guys, Carlos Vela, when you watch what he does offensively, you know, playing whether he's playing as a false nine or elsewhere, what does he do to make life difficult on keepers? Oh, he's very unpre he's, uh, he's predictably unpredictable. You know, he, Everybody knows he favors that left foot and he's going to curl it, but we, 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 can't, we can't stand in that corner already. Um, so you know that that is definitely a lethal weapon of his, but sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. You know, at the same time, um, you know he's very crafty. He's the one thing that I really like about his game is yeah, he scored a ton of goals. But I think when when the pass is the better option for him to set someone else up, he does it. It's not for him to to try to break records and get goals and get goals. Obviously, he realizes that he he he's more than capable of scoring those. But I think. Uh, uh, his understanding of of, of, uh, of who's in the best position and just understanding the game and the situation is, 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 is amazing, it's terrific. So it's, it's very difficult to defend that because you know he's not going to hog the ball when he has it and not release it. He's, you know, if you, if you put too much attention on him, I think he'll, he'll, he'll pass it off to a Rossi who's obviously more, more than capable of finishing as well. So um, we'll have to give him the attention that he deserves, but, but obviously not forget about the rest of the squad. Do you think um, he's, his uh, ability to handle pressure has been questioned? Do you think that he needs um, this win in order to further establish himself? Vela? <sighs> no, I don't think so. I mean, you know, every, every game's a pressure pressure situation. Big game pressure. Yeah, I, 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 know, I, think there, I think there's too much being put on that. When someone has a ridiculous season like that, and now he doesn't score in the playoffs. And now all of a sudden, oh, he, fault, he, he faltered again in a big pressure moment. No. Uh, what the guy's done in the, in the year it speaks for itself. And, and I think you, you, he probably puts that pressure on himself game in and game out. You know, when all of a sudden you're, you're out in front of everybody else with score, having scored so many goals, teams, teams have keyed on, in on you. And, and the pressure is on at that point already. So for him to be able to keep it going and... And again, everybody knows what he's what he what, what he's capable of doing. So uh, um, he he didn't just all of a sudden disappear or or change his game. Um, and I and I think that the pressure that he's dealt with throughout the year to get to the point where he's at right now is is, is, is a remarkable achievement. You know, uh, Martinez when he had that uh, that record for Atlanta is is amazing, and he thought it would never get broken, but. But here we are, a year later, and, and, and someone else has done it, or two years, what is it, a year? A year, right? Yeah. So, um, I think he's been hands down um, the best player in the league, consistently. Mm -hmm. um, and whoever argues differently, I think, is smoking something. Um, obviously, there's a lot of good players in this league, right? Um, we know that. Mm -hmm. um, some players know that as well. Um, but I think arguably anybody would say the, the form he's had and the consistency he's had and, and the weapons and everything that he has, um, regardless of whether he's going to do it or not, that already has an impact on the game, right? You know what I mean? He, he, he can have an, an off game. Everybody can have an off game. But the fact that he has those weapons already impacts the game. Um, and you have to respect that. You, you guys with us, uh, sorry, you guys um, with this game, is there ab above getting to the championship, is there any um, statement that you guys can make with a, a win down there? Um, I think it's been a difficult place to go to play to for, for most teams. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult. But um, with that being said, I think we look at it an opportunity to, to win a trophy. Right? I, I think we've, we've had a, a very strange year 
um, a very frustrating for a year for, for, for people, but here we are playing for trophies. You know, I think that's why you um, put in put in everything you put in throughout the year. I mean, otherwise, if you would want to win trophies, then let's not even start this. Uh, there's too much effort being put in to then not realize that hey, this is this is it. This is what you play for. Um, so I, I don't think we should we should cloud it with other things. Oh, let's make a statement. No, let's win a trophy. Uh, that's the opportunity. Um, and it'll be a heck of a game. I'm, I'm, you, I think we're ready. Do you embrace the David versus Goliath mentality of all, depending based on what they've done their season? Um, if they want to be, um, if, if they want to let us be the underdog and then and they're the favorites, then so be it. We'll take it. Uh, please feel as confident as you want. Um, don't give us any respect. That's amazing. That sounds great to me because I, I, I believe in our squad. I think we have good players. And um, if they come into this game thinking it'll be lightly, then they're going to be for a treat. What do you remember about the two times you guys have played there before? And can you take anything, I guess more specifically the game earlier this season, can you take anything from that uh, going into this game? A great atmosphere. Um, I think at this point now we've all, we've all played in the stadium a couple times. Uh, or seen a, a, a number of games there uh, on, on the telly as well. So, so I think that that's a good thing. The familiarity is there with the stadium, with the venue, with the, the experience, the overall experience. Um, but but a good good atmosphere, good crowd. Um, now obviously, the, the home field advantage is real. Um, we know that. We we've we've enjoyed that at our place. Um, I'm pretty sure our, our traveling fans will be there and supporting us on, which would be great. But um, I'm expecting them to try to dictate, um, press us. Um, not rely too much on their defense, but really have their offense, their front six, um, try to run a show. So um, we'll, we'll be ready for them as much as we can, but we'll, we'll try to obviously dictate whenever we have a chance to as well. Can you remember playing a team that has the tempo that they have? I mean, it seems like when they get the ball moving, it's going really fast, like faster than most other teams in the league. Is that Do they present a unique challenge in that way? Uh, I wouldn't say unique. I think they, they, they've, done, they've done it well. Um, what a lot of teams are trying to do well, and they've been able to do it. Um, a, a number of good players that I think are, you know, in transition are fast or fast or, uh, or agile, but also are uh, technically good enough to do it while they're while they're at, at, a, at a higher speed. Um, again, I think a supporting cast of a, of a Rossi, um, or in their midfield too. They have a couple guys who are very very speedy. Um, can get out of a pickle and then they can break really quickly. So uh, I think a lot of teams aspire to play um, high tempo transition, but the technique has to be there too, right? You can't just knock a ball 20 yards and then have, have Nuru who run onto it because otherwise we'd win every, every track meet. We have some good track, track guys on our team, but the technique has to be there as well. And I think that's one thing that they've been able to do well this season. On the other end of the field, you know Tyler Miller really well. Uh, what is he good at and what do you think that your team can exploit in his game? <laughs> um, I'm part of the goalkeepers union, so I'm not going to tell you or play by play. But uh, um, he's a good goalkeeper. Uh, honestly, I, I've, I, I've been surprised that in the national team he hasn't been able to get a, a bigger look. Um, I think his frame, his um, his demeanor, um, I know the way he approaches his craft is very, very good. Obviously, he's been with us. Um, Sometimes it can be difficult when you're a backup, um, but for him to then always show up day to day and work hard and get better in training, um, I think sh says a lot about him. So I know he's a top goalkeeper. I uh, I, I really want him to to succeed. Um, I, I have high expectations of him. I want him to really to really get into that pot of the national team goalkeepers and and possibly claim that for him because I think he's a good guy. But uh, obviously we'll. We'll try to exploit whatever we think we can exploit. Um, yeah, these are these are for goalkeepers. Experience comes into play, um, and maybe I've been there a little bit longer than he has. Um, and the way you prepare for these games, uh, maybe I'm, I'm used to it a bit more. With that being said, uh, I can make a mistake. Uh, he can make a mistake. Uh, it can happen to anybody. So. Uh, um, we'll, we'll see what he brings. I'm expecting him to be on fire as always. Um, but if he gives us anything, hopefully we can pounce on it. What do you uh, make of the, uh, of the uh, El Tropico spectacle before, during, or after the game? Obviously, it's uh, people still talking about it uh, after uh, after the game. So, just curious for uh, your thoughts on, on on what you saw from the game. Yeah, I think it's it, it's great. The buzz. Um, 
the hype of it, uh, the recognition that the league gets from a big game like that. Um, I like that we've changed the name and we're not calling it El Clasico because I think there is some actual Clasicos out there in the world that you don't want to quite yet put yourself into the mix with. <laughs> um, but it's good. Overall, it's good. I, I, I think the whole uh, uh, MLS playoff um, restructuring of the system has been fantastic. And I think um, sometimes you get fatigue um, out, of, out of big games, you know, when you're talking about Real Madrid, Barcelona, and they meet four or five, six times a year. I think it gets a little old. Uh, it's such a big, big deal. So maybe the fact that uh, this was a one and done in the playoffs, the game, um, it's, it's amazing. Uh, it must, must have been good for the league. Uh, and um, I'm all for it. You want to get some good, good, authentic rivalries in this league. We, uh, you talked about awesome. a little bit as far as um, the defense goes. How would you assess you guys lately? Um, do you think that you're now finally playing the best uh, defensively that you can, the team? Oh, we've, 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 we've been decent, yeah. I think the, the last couple of games of the season in the playoffs have been all right, you know. Uh, there's still this game. Uh, this last one was, was, was good. Um, the one before, obviously, not, not the best, but... Uh, Listen, this is this is what it is. You know, mistakes will always happen. I mean, I make I make countless mistakes in every game. Um, some of them you guys will never ever see. Uh, I remember them. They, they can they can be small ones. They can be big ones. But you hope that uh, nothing comes out of them. And obviously, you collectively as a unit, I think you wanna you wanna really limit those those mistakes and, and play those odds. And for us, in the last game, I mean, I made a point before the game. Uh, set pieces is one where really being switched on is a, is a major key of of trying to eliminate those, those small mistakes, those small individual mistakes. And I thought we did much better in that last game. So uh, I, I want to see that again. Because um, again, mistakes will happen, but, but can we limit the silly ones, the, the ones where we tune out? Tune out. You know, it's not an error of uh, technique or, or an unfortunate bounce, uh, because those things happen. Um, but, but all the things we can control, can we really try to do the best in, uh, when it comes to that?